Hello, hello, how is everyone doing? Give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this, got it. Ziggs, super fun to play. Guys, I am addicted and in love with set three. I still am yet to pull off the team comp I want to show you guys. Recently, I posted on Twitter how I have gotten 20,000 damage on Jin. We're going to make that happen. Sniper Jin does a whole freaking lot, all right? I'm going to tell you that much right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you exactly how to make the auto win gin. I also want to brute force the comp, okay? Which means we're doing it no matter what, unless we have a static shiv. That means Blade Master with static shiv. Previously, that was a sweet comp to go, but I'm curious if that's the move now. Oh boy, do we want any of this stuff? I think we can roll Ziggs for now. A little early demolitionist can't go wrong. Demolitionist with GP is so good late game. Especially if GP has mana, he will stun you like crazy. Oh my. Let's drop that for that. Two Jarvins, two Zigs. Make it one more. Oh boy. Part of me kind of wants to keep space pirates for the extra gold. I really like the brawler because I might actually put him in my comp. Huh. Oh boy. Do we drop the graves? We definitely gotta get this guy. We might actually use this more to. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my god. Now nah, I wish we had that Mordekaiser. Holy Toledo, we would have had two of them. Let's see, build-wise, I want to keep the recurve bow. And let's do this too. Drop you, buy you, Mordekaiser, Mordekaiser. I wish this was a Dark Star comp, too bad it's not. Let's sell the Ziggs, perhaps? I want to save up for Rage Blades bad. Very bad. <clears throat> but ooh, this is a nice little map we got going on this is pretty cool galaxy theme I'm digging it can I put my champions in there or not yo Mordekaiser are early does work I wish we had that level 2 from earlier we have two recurve bows so that's gonna be nice. An early sun is not too shabby. We'll pick up this because it might come in handy as well later on. For now, this is what we're rolling with. In the past, early on, they would give you so much gold to make it so you could pretty much buy everything and be very flexible with your comp. Now, there's not much gold, so you actually have to make a decision and kind of get a little lucky with it. Notice how we didn't buy that mord earlier and we ended up getting two mords next round. So you're going to run into more scenarios where it's like, oh my god, I wish I did that, or I wish I did this. And I think that's exactly what Rito's looking for. Oh, go Mord, go. Honestly, the shield is so good on him. He might, nice. Nice, nice, very nice. We'll pick up this and that. There's less tier ones on the map that we don't need. And one more Mord and we'd be in such a good spot. Along with another, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. One more Dark Harvest Champion, and we are freaking set, dude. Don't have any synergies, but lots of level twos. I'll take it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my infiltrator. Jeez, Louise. My Sona just got dropped on this Mord Shield. So good. Bops infiltrators real hard. This is like the assassin comp of... Uh, Oh my god, do you get the plus two gold? Did I have two gold before? Am I going crazy? What's going on? That was strange. Someone's in Earth round and it is tanks galore. I wonder if this guy has space pirates or not. Honestly, we're last pick. I'm not going to be greedy at all. I can go with one of these to create a Dark Star or IE later on. Same with the BF swords. Re uh, recurve bows, I'm totally fine with because... We're going to be creating rapid fires, rage blades, all that good jazz. Dude, this is nice. When you can literally have anything right now. This could create us a rage blade. 
Let's let's go with that. Even though it's a lower tier unit, aka we're gonna get less gold from selling it. It'll give us one of the rage blades we need for now. That was like the perfect carousel for the team comp we're going. Literally every single thing we needed, or every single thing out there, we could have used. Ooh, 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 this is so good actually. So so good. Karma, where do we put you? I'm a fan of this. Mystic Dark Star. And we have our Rage Blade. I'm not gonna use Jarvan forever, that's a fact. So we can actually put the Rage Blade on him. Rage Blade on him. I thought the item just disappeared for a second. I got a little scared. All right, let's see how much gold we get from winning around. That's something we gotta find out. I hope we win. We have a beautiful win streak, and this guy leveled up to level five. Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> and he's all AD. Yep, that's why we lost. Yikes! Yikes! Big yikes. Uh, mech pilot. No. The win streak would have been juicy. Maybe spending all our gold to make sure we won. Putting in blitz would have been the move. In hindsight, I think so, but we can still rock with what we got. Yeah, that's honestly the perfect time to spend all your gold to keep the win streak alive. But we're fine. All Gucci. This isn't bad. Let's change our layout to this. Right here. Right here. Angry 2017. This guy's got... I don't know what team comes got going on, but is Jarvan even that good? He just throws his flag. Ooh, Jarvan calls down his standard... Oh my. Wait a minute. Jarvan gives so much attack speed. Holy... I should put Jarvan in with my Jin comp. Dude, why did I give him the Rage Blade? All nearby alleys, 60 bonus attack speed? Dude, heck yeah. Alright, we still haven't gotten to Caitlyn. We're gonna wait for that very patiently. I'm just gonna buy XP to make sure we don't screw this up. I didn't know this thing gives so much attack speed. Jeez, bonus attack speed. It's getting, uh... Oh my god, imagine giving him a death cap so this gives way more. Oh, 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 rage blade galore. We're actually getting a lot of the items we want. But not so much the champions we want. All I care about right now is getting this Jin. so... Good econ, getting Jin is what we mainly, mainly, mainly care about. Speak of the devil, here's a Caitlyn. The other sniper we are looking for. Is it worth to do this? I think so. I'm trying to think if there's any other items we want to give to our Jarvan because I'm probably going to sell him. What the? When the wearer casts a spell, restores 10 mana to all allies within two hexes. Wow. Giving that to someone who spams mana? Probably very, very good. This guy also has Sniper. Let's see. So he's got a little... Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> I was like, hey, this guy's comp looks exactly like mine. That's pretty cute. I'm dropping the Sona. Because we have our eyes set on something else. Good thing a lot of the Chronos that we need to make our team comp are very late game focused. We have the Caitlyn, and then Blitz is a tier 2, we have two of those. Shen also tier 2, haven't seen one of those. Ezreal, Wukong, Thresh is what we finish off our comp with. This is actually a very late game team comp to go for, okay? And it's so reliant on the Jin popping off. But first, we got to get there. Let's sell you. Bye bye, Mordekaiser, we'll miss ya. Boop. We'll pick up a random tier 1, hoping that more Caitlyn's pop up, or TF's, because TF's a chrono, we could use them for the time being. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Hello, Ezreal. More chronos we could throw in there, but the sniper comp's not quite doing it for us. 
I think we do this. Chrono bonus instead of the sniper bonus. Looks better to me. That being said, in order to get the econ, and then we drop the ash. I care about getting the 50 gold so bad. We're doing pretty well health-wise anyways. And a lot of the champs out on the board, it's pretty much impossible to go Chrono this early. So since we're at 50 gold, we might be able to snowball and get there the fastest. Oh, there goes that flag. Ay yeah 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 yeah. We gotta sell this guy for the 50 gold. We're in a decent spot, but we're gonna be tanking damage fast. So we gotta fix that. This guy's got a poppy placeholder. I actually like Sona a lot. Even though we sold her, her heels come in clutch and she's dead. Rest in pepperoni. Give me fun team comps to play in set three, fellas. Let's see, we are picking third. Not too bad, not too bad. I wanted that rod so, so bad, but maybe this will do. Come here, spatula. All right, we can create a dark star with this because I want to put a dark star team comp with Jin and Karma. Probably gonna be selling these two big boys later on. When a dark star champion dies, they give increased damage plus any previous stacks of this effect to the nearest ally dark star champion. I'll show you what I'm talking about soon for now. Let's get a little bit of that. Random reroll, nothing. Let's level on up and do this. Blitzcrank, do your thing. Chrono number three, do we go with Chrono number four? I don't think so. We're sticking with this for now. Hopefully we don't lose because I don't want to have to sell one of these champs. Star Guardian, Sorcerer. They have so many shields. Where are all these shields coming from? No way Ezreal does enough damage. I'm not gonna sell anything I got for Econ, not, 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 not this round. We need all these things pretty bad. That random reroll, I was hoping for an early Caitlyn or TF or something, but it costs us one gold. Who knows how much that one gold's gonna add up to. But maybe this game will just go to show how this, how broken this team comp actually is once you finally get it because we're not even getting the champs we want. And it's still working out pretty, pretty decent for us. Do we drop the Dark Star for this? I'm going to give it a go. For Chrono, not bad. Let's see all the spatches we can make. We can make a Protector. We can make an Infiltrator. We can make a Star Guardian Charm. Ooh, that's interesting. Celestial Trade, Infiltrator. Spatula plus tier equals Star Guardian. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, I thought Jarvan was going to die. I thought that was there all for a second. We are good. Chrono's OP. As the game goes on, our attack speed goes wild. That's a wrap. We can rebuy the Ash if we want to put Sniper back in. Let's see what we got. Level 2 Shen. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to buy this to get Tier 4s off the map. And I think this is good for now. Pray, pray, pray for Rods. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Getting more Caitlyn's would be nice too. Just because she'll probably be in our team comp the whole entire time. Keep that sniper bonus alive. Hello, hello, hello. Putting Ash Jin would be nice. Ooh, we can create that other Dark Star I was talking about. That's very good. And here's the Ginny Jin Jin, dude. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Let's sell you. Give you this Rage Blade. What the heck else do we put in? Random TF? Sure, why not? Chrono, Sniper, Dark Star. We're getting the comp together, fellas. We are getting the comp together. Who do we want to make a Dark Star? Let's see. When a, when a Dark Star champion dies, give increased damage plus any previous stacks of this effect to the nearest allied Dark Star champion. So who stacks damage like a lot? I guess just someone who dies? Wouldn't be too bad, but watch our damage on Jin go up, up, and up. 4,000 crit, it just did. This is gonna be adding up fast. Let's drop you. I wanna level up, put another Chrono in. Four Chronos now, that Jin would've been dealing even more damage at this point now if he had that last round. 
I think I like what we're rolling with right now. This is good. Random reroll. Ooh, nothing. Don't need any of this. You can go bye bye. We really got to figure out who we want to make this Dark Star with so we can put in someone else. We can drop Mordekaiser. <coughs> who stacks up damage a lot? <clears> hmm. <throat> They give increased damage plus any stacks of this effect. Does that mean if they had a lot of damage, the other person gets it? We have to think, who stacks? Very well. That's so good for us. Who do we want to deal more damage? Caitlyn's decent, but I don't think we'd be rolling with her too much. We can sell the Shaco. Won't need that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We really have to create this uh, other Dark Star unit. I think we give it to... I think just someone who dies. When the Dark Star unit, they get increased damage. So I guess just another champ that we know that's gonna die. Oh. Oh my god, dude. Come on, so close. He's almost at the point where he can hard, hard carry. We gotta start popping off now though, cause uh, we're losing valuable daylight. Let's see, let's see. There's an Aurelian soul and a gangplank out there. I want it. I want it. Ooh, screw the GP. <clears throat> it would have been pretty solid, but a rod, more rage blades, equals gin pop-off time. Each auto he throws, he gets more AD. I'll explain in a sec. Check this out. Check this out. Let's sell you. Let's sell you. Drop you. TF shall become the dark star unit and another rage blade for you buddy we have five chronos now make that six but check this out every auto Jin's ad goes up 120 128 136 196 208 as time goes on this guy carries so freaking hard to bend this master you just put me in the dirt Ay yeah 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 that is not okay. We could go Rudin's Hurricane, deal some AoE damage on the side, redemption to make the game last longer. That's an option. I want to wait one more round to see what we can do with it. Let's see, how do we get even more tanky? Let's put a blitz over here. So he pulls people away. I want to level up so bad to put this karma back in. You know what? And then we keep our HP and make sure we can do that. This is the dream comp right here. Six chrono, two sniper, three dark star. I'm digging it. All we're missing is Thresh and Thresh. Oh my god, these infiltrators just destroyed my right side, which is all my damage. Caitlyn, keep autoing, buddy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I can place them in a better spot so Jin doesn't die. Because once Jin dies, as you can see, we're in some trouble. I think if we don't get goodies this round, Hurricane's going to be the move with the Redemption in there as well. Sounds good to me. I want to keep these extra for the Mana Reliever with my boy Thresh. We'll see him soon. But Kog'Maw round, we could legitimately lose this round. This gets spicy. Let's do this. Whatever keeps Jin alive, I think this could be the safest spot for him. Ezreal tank, Karma will tank. And this guy gets so much AD as the game goes on. Jin is our ultimate, ultimate carry right now. Good, 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 good. Look at the AD just skyrocket on this Jin. I really think giving that redemption might be the move. Oh my god. Oh my god. No freaking way. Look what we got. What the double freaking gangplank? Holy Jesus. Another rage blade. 
Another Rage Blotto. Dude, yes. Do we want a BT? Oh my god, this could give even more attack speed, actually. Do we do it? I'm down. Even more attack speed. We could give GP the extra ult damage. That's a possibility. I really want to find a Thresh. Oh my god. 518 AD. Dude. I'm actually getting so much. So, so much AD. I think we focus on EXP right now. I think we focus on EXP. And keeping people on my bench like this Aurelia actually isn't bad. Because later on I plan on having a Thresh to keep on yoinking people on in. Dude, I'm in love with this right now. I'm in love. Attack speed across the board. I want this TF to die. Hopefully this Jin frontline's enough. Triple Rage Blade. Sniper Jin. I think we give... If we give this to you now... <clears throat> I think giving that to Thresh might actually be better. Oh yeah, yeah, we're still losing. There's the Aurelia. There's the Karma. Random reroll. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Who do we drop? Who do we drop? I don't think we drop anyone. I don't think we drop anyone. We can do this though. You take that, we need a Thresh so, so bad. We're getting pretty late game, but everyone is alive. Dude, I'm in love with watching this Jin AD just go wild. 314, 358, auto Jin, auto, auto Jin, auto. 9.4K damage, dude. Leveling up Wukong would be the dream. Let's see, let's see. BT, honestly, maybe even a locket's not bad. This, oh wait, there's a Thresh. Ho ho ho! Don't forget about the champion. <clears throat> oh, we can give this to, oh, this is actually so good. If Thresh dies, all the AD that he gains from this is gonna then go to Jin because remember the stacking whole Dark Star. When a Dark Star champion dies, they give increased damage plus any previous stacks on this. Dude, if this works how I think it works, my God, beautiful, beautiful. He's gonna be insta pulling, insta ulting. I want to get this as real bad do we reroll or buy exp i'm gonna go with buying exp if we even put in any of these two that's a mana reliever for us if we can pick up a demolitionist somewhere too that'll be stuns galore our front line's decent i love this bonus attack that we instantly give to Jin as well <clears throat> this guy just hurts so bad come late game he one shots everyone dude oh my god speaking of one shots he also just freaking destroyed them thresh pulling in a whole lot of people dude i'm in love with that keeping a good bench is very solid for us ho 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 leveling up just got even better because this gp is a god we could spam level up yeah i think we should let's not agree it out part of me wants to but it's a bad idea give me this gin too would you Give me this gin. Let's put that. Oh, I just sold the Ezreal. I'm an idiot. I'm actually, I'm actually an idiot. I'm gonna lock this. Just cause having these champs on our bench is so good. Thresh is gonna pull them in. Dude. And we get the bonuses that when Thresh pulls them in now. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's buy both of these. 
Dude, I'm in love. Which, what item do you have? Can I scroll over and see what you got here, buddy? Oh, well, I guess we're just going to have to wait. It might honestly be worth to sell these karmas just so Thresh is pulling in the best of the best champions, dude. Tier 5, tier 5, tier 5. Mana reliever, mana reliever. Seraph's so good for us. Pulling in the Aurelian soul. Dude. Our team comp just became godlike. Trap claw. Disarm. Except for just like me, one of those. Wouldn't it be bad? Oh man, putting that on the Thresh as well would be solid. Let's buy that. I honestly think we dropped the Karmas. Honestly, honestly. Oh my god, Thresh is going to be pulling in gods. Absolute gods. You know what, screw it. We'll sit on this guy as well. Why the heck not? GP, you take that. Get even more tanky. <laughs> Our team comes insane. <laughs> Our team comes actually insane. Watch the damage go on up. Bring it in the Cho'Gath. Did we get the Brawler bonus? Nope. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't get it. Holy GP. Dude, Jin's still dealing all the damage. I love it. My comp is God. Good luck. Good freaking luck. That's all we gotta say. Keep in mind, this is a level 1 Jin doing all this. I need to see what this fourth shot looks like. With another one. Another one. Do we need that echo? Yeah, we'll drop the Cassid. We'll drop you for it. Oh my god, that just got real scary. Level 2 Thresh, he's going to be pulling in people left and right. Check this out. Mana refunded up to 60 now, along with the Seraphs he has. Dude, level 3 Thresh just instantly pulls in the whole bench. That's hilarious. Go, go, go. He's bringing in another... Oh my god. <laughs> my whole bench is feared, filled with tier 5 units. Oh, this guy's still alive. That guy's still trucking. Level 2 Echo. Don't need another Thresh. Where's our other Jin? That's what I want to know. <gasps> there he is. There he is. I think we can troll one round. How do we troll? We'll do this. Oh my goodness. We're still not trolling because watch what this guy does. Even more damage now. We'll open up the damage charts. And guys, I recorded this live stream. Or I recorded this video on caffeine. I'll have my stream schedule in the top of the description. So if you guys want to check out me there, I stream Monday 5 through 9, Wednesday 5 through 9, Thursday 5 through 9, and Saturday 5 through 9. I have a thousand AD. Oh my god, I just lost. Oh my god. I didn't think I would die. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Please come flame me on stream. I'll see you there. Link in the top of the description. Peace out. Imagine that this ping pong table is League of Legends. And Niski is, well, he's still Niski. Every time a new patch is released, the game changes. That's why Cloud9 have partnered with Microsoft. Using their technology, they can understand changes faster so that no matter what the next patch brings, they're ready to own it. Ping pong ball did not actually penetrate table. Physically impossible, but we left it in because it looked awesome.